Capricorn, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning the free in. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful week so far. Um, as you guys already know, this is going to be another general reading to see what kind of lunatic may be coming towards you in love. Keep in mind the situation here could be vice versa or completely in, um, you know, reverse, right? And Capricorn, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe for me, please. I would completely and truly and dearly appreciate it. Uh, because it does help us YouTubers, us creators with um, the algorithm, right? Um, also, Capricorn, if this, for some strange reason, does not happen to resonate with you, feel free to watch your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs, okay? So here we go. This is for you, Capricorn. This is for you, Capricorn. And thank you so much for the views. <laughs> thank you so much, my loves. I really appreciate it. I have a lot of um, Capricorn in my chart. I have like five placements in Capricorn. So sometimes I watch Capricorn readings, you know, um, with me being an Aquarius. But anyway, I'm talking. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what is that? Okay. Capricorn. What is coming towards Capricorn in love? What do you have for Capricorn spirit in love? Capricorn. Capricorn, you got it is safe for you to love. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Spirit is saying it is safe for you to love this person. Or maybe, you know, this person needs to know that it's safe to love you. Okay. This could be in regards to a reconciliation, right? Um, reconciliation is showing up at the bottom of the deck here. Reconciliation is coming towards you, Capricorn. <laughs> They're coming full speed towards you. The lunatic wants to reconcile, Capricorn. <laughs> These are brand new cards. You guys are one of the first to, to be able to use these cards. Capricorn. What is coming towards Capricorn in love? Capricorn. 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 So um, some of you could be definitely dealing with someone who's withdrawn from you currently, or maybe you've just been withdrawn from the world. You don't feel like dealing with anybody. You're sick of people's shit. <laughs> you have withdrawn here. And then you also have heavy heart. So someone has a very heavy heart in the situation. There's a lot of emotions running, right? And it doesn't have to be yours, right? It could just be this person. They're feeling highly emotional. Capricorn. Capricorn. What is coming towards Capricorn in love? Capricorn. Ooh, Capricorn. <laughs> Capricorn, you have somebody who's observing your every move. They're observing every action. You see the camera? The motherfucker watching you. Hmm. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have powerless. The power struggle is real. It's going to be someone who's, you know, trying to... Um, Tooth and nail, you know, fighting their feelings for you. Tooth and nail. Could be an air sign, of course, a Libra or a Gemini. Capricorn. Capricorn. That nine of swords showing up. <laughs> Could be a Cancer or a Taurus. So there may have definitely been miscommunication here, Capricorn, right? Um, maybe somebody wasn't being honest with you, right, in the past. But Ace of Swords can definitely already talk about some um, a situation that's just very confusing. Usually due to a lack of proper communication or maybe just a motherfucker who just, you ain't have to lie, you know? <laughs> wow, the lover is Gemini. Gemini. Strong air here so far? Yeah, I just said strong air. So you're really dealing with a... Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. So I feel like um, Capricorn, you're very guarded. Someone's very guarded here, right? Um, it could be someone that you're married to. Maybe you're thinking about getting a divorce. Or this person's thinking about getting a divorce from the person that they're with, possibly. Okay? But, um, you know, for a lot of you, this, this person is your soulmate. There's a true connection here. 
um, a mutual connection. It's, it's not one-sided. Although you might not be dealing with them if they were lying to you, but the the love can't be denied, right? The love can't be denied. Um, <clears throat> this person wants to talk. That's what they want to do. They want to talk. And I do see them opening the lines of communication with you, page of wands. It may have taken this person some time to, you know, talk to you, but they will. Um, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I definitely see there was definitely some disappointment here. Something did not pan out in the past, you know. Something just didn't go to plan. Um, maybe this could be also someone who was very fixated on their past. And maybe this caused the connection to be very stagnant. So tell me about this Ace of Swords reverse for Capricorn. So Capricorn, Capricorn you may have put this person in a timeout for some of you. Because when I see justice and eight of swords, someone wants to come out of time out. They, <laughs> they want to talk. They don't want to be in the corner anymore, Capricorn. Yeah, you see, that's why you stop dealing with them. Because this is someone who had you in, in a third party situation. Somebody's married here. And you left them alone because of that. You already were suspicious that this person was involved. Okay? Um, the lovers. But for some of you, this is definitely a twin flame connection. This person is your twin flame. <clears throat> Tell me about the lovers. I feel like this is someone who's saving up to get a divorce. That way they can prove to you that they're serious. Okay. Four of Pentacles could be a card of saving up, holding on to money. Knight of Pentacles is already my plan card. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely, someone is making plans to get a divorce or to leave. For some of you, this could be your relationship or marriage that's on its last leg. And, you know, you're just like, I'm getting the freak out of here. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm getting the freak out of here. Okay? Yeah. But someone doesn't want to, you know, have an affair or anything like that. Justice. Justice for Capricorn. So definitely Libra showing up here and Gemini very strongly. Ooh. So for some of you, <clears throat> this is someone that you have a family with, right? And you guys were together and um, this person got you involved in a third party in the past. They mistreated you. Some of you, they may even even disrespected you, right? Um, and this person wants to do the right thing now. Capricorn, they do. Justice is here. They, they want to balance the scales. <laughs> They are full of regret and remorse. That's what they are. Some of them, I'm hearing, they want their family back. Four of Pentacles, please. So this person's watching you a lot to see if you're still available. Four of Pentacles. Um, for others of you, this doesn't have to be a um, third party, as in someone's married, right? It could be someone who definitely wasn't keen on commitment. Okay. Someone that you dated short term. And maybe at some point you felt like they were bullshitting you about commitment, okay? This could be someone who's definitely dragging their feet on commitment. I have Aries here. Yeah, def someone may not be financially stable to get a divorce or to uh, leave their situation. That could be what it is. There's a lot of pentacles here. Nine of pentacles for Capricorn. But this person... um. it's almost like i feel like this person you may have really um gave this person an ultimatum it's almost like you lit a fire under their ass or you i don't know how else to describe it like you called them out <clears throat> you called this person out and you walked away and now that you did that here they go ready to face their fears ready to let go of their past ready to um, enter those commitment waters with you, Capricorn. Eight of Swords reverse, Eight of Swords reverse. Eight of Swords reverse this is someone who's coming out of some kind of mindset, someone who's coming out of some kind of relationship that was binding them, keeping them stuck, bound, trapped. All right, well, the communication is coming. <laughs> They're gonna wanna meet up and see you in person. Five of Cups reverse for Capricorn. 
what they're gonna want this could be someone who's back and forth between you and their ex capricorn because when i see the knight of swords reverse it tells me of someone who may have been flip-flopping in the past and they may have made a decision to go back to their ex or some shit like that and now karma don't tore their ass up and now they've learned their lesson <laughs> wow what a reading what a reading capricorn this is somebody who really has learned their lesson and they're not coming in as a player a knight of wands they're coming in as being serious being serious wow so no more flip-flopping no more juggling no more of that they're making a decision to come back to you and to stay. Ace of Swords here is in the reverse. They were, you know, full of crap before and lying before. I'm seeing a change in this person. And I think that's why Spirit is saying that it's safe for you to love because this person has gotten their mind right. The fact that you walked away from them, their mind is, they're thinking clearly now. They're realizing what they lost. Okay. And no more excuses. No more excuses. All right. What else do we need to know? What else? For Capricorn. What else? Okay. Two of Cups reverse. There was definitely recently a breakup, right? So you feel defeated by this person. Someone was still holding on to their past. Whether if it was an ex or just reliving their past. And this kind of was the block here. But you guys weren't on the same page. You guys fell the fuck out. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Somebody maybe had a fear of taking a leap of faith here. Trusting their feelings. Trusting, um, you know, themselves, right? But someone's heart is heavy. They've learned their lesson, Capricorn. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> what does this person want to say to Capricorn spirit? What does this person want to say to Capricorn? Someone has seriously learned their lesson. So they say that they will ask you out very soon. They don't want anyone else to have you. Mm. Oh, they say this is no ordinary love. I will reach out soon. What does this person want to say to Capricorn? So someone is saying, I forgive you. So I think someone forgives the other person. Especially if you guys are a twin flames, you know. It's kind of like you love this person unconditionally. And you may not really be holding it against them. Like really holding it against them for, for those of you who twin flame resonates with you. I can feel your energy easily. <clears throat> and you are the only one. Wow. Wow. So this person is doing a 360 Capricorn. They're doing a 360. All right, Capricorn. Well, that is what I have for you. Oh, bottom of the deck. I regret how I handled things. All right. Well, love you guys so much. See you guys next time.